Hello, my friends. In today's reading, I'd like to look at a lady called Katie Price. She used to be known as Jordan. Um, here in the UK, we had something called Page Three in the Sun newspaper, and it always featured a different glamour model. These were topless shots of um, women um, who were sort of um, naked from the waist up, and this was just a feature of that newspaper, very, very popular um, and ran for very many years. And the women that um, did these glamour shoots made a fortune. Um, they were incredibly famous. And Katie Price, who was known as Jordan at the time, was one of these Sun Page 3 glamour models here in the UK. So that's a little bit of background if you're not from Britain. So this lady has had numerous husbands, numerous children, and um, has a problem with drinking and driving and drugs, and also um, with having a lot of cosmetic surgeries that's cost her an awful lot of money, money that at the moment she doesn't appear to have due to bankruptcy and other issues so this is all allegedly and it's all for entertainment only what i'm doing today is just pulling a celtic cross on katie price aka jordan because katie price is going to be going to court yet again in february um regarding bankruptcy uh, she's already had several drink driving uh court appearances uh, which she's managed to get away with prison on those um, by the skin of her teeth, probably because of her children. So she's managed to escape jail, but she does have a court case now regarding her finances in February. So I just want to do a Celtic cross reading and get the overall energy of Katie Price, her thoughts, her feelings, and the possible outcome for this court case in February, which has been delayed a few times. I've already shuffled, so I'm just going to come to the end of this pass and we will take it from the top. Okay, so Celtic Cross. So let's have the central position. Justice. How funny is that? Okay, so yes, I mean, this will be her justice. Um, she's going to court. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about these. Let's get the whole thing laid out and then we can analyse. So justice is the the main focal point, very understandable. So what is crossing the justice? Page of Swords. In the crowning position, the thoughts, strength. In the base, the root of the situation, Seven of Swords. Okay. In the very near past, and in the future. And then we're going to come along to the outlying energy along here. So, and we'll discuss all these cards as they come up. Okay, interesting. All right, so this is the Celtic Cross for Jordan, aka Katie Price, as she's been now for many years. So, Let's start with this justice card at the bottom. Okay, yes, court case. What more can you say? That is the central energy around her at the moment. This is on her mind. Oh, constantly. This is constantly on her mind. She's got yet another appearance in court. Um, her, her life has, has been uh, one long court case, to be honest with you. All, all sort of um, very dramatic, uh, just about escaping, going to prison. Um, a lot of mudslinging, oh dear. So this will be her just desserts. Whatever's due to happen is going to happen. Um, she's very much a poor me kind of character. And um, I'm sure that she feels that um, justice, um, justice is not just. I'm sure that is what she thinks, that it's all, it's all against her. But there we are, it's in the upright. It will be fair. Whatever whatever justice is um, handed down to her, it will be fair. Whether she sees it as fair or not, I don't know. But it will be fair justice in London courts. Um, so what's crossing her? We've got the Page of Swords. Very interested, um, interesting in the Page of Swords. 
very much kind of press card. Well, yes, indeed, it's all over the press. And um, this is very much um, messages getting out there. Reporters writing things, true or false, just, just writing things out, um, getting all this paperwork out there. Not only uh, the press, but her lawyers. Uh, it's very much um, an industrious sort of um, writing down facts maybe not always the facts, but writing stuff down and maybe even gossiping, putting your beak in where you shouldn't put it in. So, you know, you have some element of um, uncovering uh, the truth um, and some element of making up lies. So truth and lies, basically. Uh, it just depends on who's writing it, where they're writing it and what their motivations are. But yes, very much... Um, a card of, of thought, a card of, um, you know, getting your thoughts down on paper, getting them onto the media in some form, whether it's newspaper print, whether it's online. Um, so, yes. Yeah. And of course, her her team working for her will be doing an awful lot of paperwork and researching and, um, you know, uh, working out what they need to be saying on her behalf so that's what's crossing her at the moment um probably more the uh, negative aspect in the press so the crowning situation strength in reverse um she's not feeling confident with this at all um she's a very sort of um oh she has a very sort of um oh how can i put it uh very oh trying to think of the word for it um she's very ultra confident comes across as it but i don't believe it's true and this is really how she feels uh there isn't the confidence there there isn't the bravado that's what i wanted to say the bravado of all this she is feeling very um insecure very unconfident about this whole situation she knows she's pushed her luck and um, she, she is really uh, feeling very vulnerable. I'd say that's a vulnerable card for her. And then the base of things is Seven of Swords. Well, she has lied. Um, she's lied. She's um, been deceitful. She's been accused of drunk driving. She was not just accused of it. She was. She was drunk. Um, she's been um, in, in control of a car that has crashed. Um, she's potentially you know been able to harm or kill people she hasn't killed anybody but you know the way she's going if she carries on going the way she is with her uh, very sort of um way of being that just puts other people in harm then something terrible is going to happen and um she she's been very um untruthful not trustworthy at all at the base of all of this this is what's led her here, um, not being a good person, not being a truthful, honest person has led to this justice situation and led to her own uh, feeling weak. Because if you're if you're a strong, good, kind person, you don't end up in court and you don't end up feeling weak and vulnerable because you did nothing that you know puts you there. So yes, um, this is her own doing. And this is the base of everything, her lies, her deceit. Uh, so that that is where we stand at the moment. And then the past, you know, um, this is recent past. Um, she's tried to get across a situation of it being very much, oh, you know, me and my my children in a happy home. There have always been uh, photographs. Let's see if that card can be seen a little bit better. There you are. This is a past card. Uh, there are always photographs of um, her beautiful children looking um, looking very gorgeous, all of them together, looking very, um, very happy. She has a much older child who um, has learning difficulties and he's always very much included in the family. There's always a very uh, strong, loving bond shown in photographs. So this is the um, aura that's presented of oh, me and my wonderful children uh very seldom is there um, a father in that the father is um gone uh, for whatever reason but it's her and her 
children and looking extremely happy, the, the ideal family. Um, but the near future is the Six of Swords. So here we go. This is the um, travel card. Um, it doesn't have to be like the, on the right of weight. It shows people in a boat moving to calmer waters. It doesn't have to be travel, but moving on, progressing from point A to another point to point B, moving forward, forward motion, moving away from your current situation. Well, this Six of Swords, you've got the bunny sitting on the case. She ain't going anywhere. She's looking at the turtle or tortoise or whatever it is, and she's going nowhere. Um, she is stuck because until all of this is resolved, she can't go anywhere. Um, it, it, it really is. She's in a little bit of a a cell of her own making i know she's not in prison but she almost is in prison she's in prison in her mind she's in prison in her home really because she can't she can't go anywhere until all of this is sorted out so very much in in a place where she is has no opportunity of progressing and moving forward at the moment so let's go to the outside influences so this this is very much um as things are this is the very central core of things so now we're moving over to the more external situation so her thoughts and feelings uh she feels that she's at a crossroads um she'll either get um her justice or she won't she her justice to her would be oh you know well you've got children and you know we'll give you a very mild telling off and what have you and and she'll be able to cope with whatever is doled down to her or the other uh, situation is she will be um you know given very harsh justice so she doesn't know what's going to happen so she's very much um at the two of swords at that crossroads her life could go either way at the moment um justice could turn around and really give her a very lenient um a very lenient outcome or else they could be very hard on her and she doesn't know and she hates not knowing and she hates feeling um sort of blindfolded at what's going on in the future her arms are tied her heart chakras closed because she has no idea what's going to happen and this is a lady who's very much likes to control things and this is one thing she cannot control so that's how she feels at the moment so people around her her family um i would imagine we're talking about her mother um her children they're all looking back um six of cups is very much sort of nostalgia so i think they're all looking back and thinking oh you know we we used to be better than this it used to be better do you remember when xyz do you remember when katie was this or katie was that or do you remember when the children were tiny and do you remember when I was married to whichever husband and things were good? You know, it, it's very much looking looking back. So I think her her family, her, her mother, her children, they're all going, oh, you know, this is really bad. Do you remember when things were so much better when mum was this or when my daughter did that? Uh, they're not seeing the current situation as being at all somewhere that is uh, to be celebrated it's like only in the past was it was it good and uh, it's like good times in the past that aren't coming round again that's the way I see that her family look at it oh this is so dreadful it was so much better in the past so five of pentacles so what is um the universe saying about this the universe is saying well <laughs> this is all of your own making uh the five of pentacles is being out in the cold um you know it, it could even be something like homeless um she won't be homeless but you know her home is um probably uh, at risk she's she's going through a bankruptcy um money is certainly at risk um she's she sort of brought herself to her knees and here she is sort of in the straw clutching her head to her knees um she's been an outcast now and and the universe is saying you know you you are going to hit rock bottom before you can come up after the five of pentacles 
you go into the six of pentacles which is like the charity card you learn to um either accept charity or be more charitable um, you have to change your way of being she's never changed how she is this is her her rock bottom and she needs to change her whole way of thinking and dealing with people and how she handles herself this is her life lesson here from the universe so the outcome of the court case three of swords it's not going to be good she's going to feel totally stabbed through the heart i think down here you know we have the um the choices the, the courts can either be lenient or they can be hard well they've been lenient with her several times before she's escaped prison uh, she's basically got a tap on the wrist for some of the dreadful stuff that she's done regarding um being under the influence while driving so she's she's got away with it a few times this is not going to happen now she's not going to get away with it and this is her screaming oh it's all so unfair you've got it in for me you know you never liked me you know it's the media haven't helped they've been against me the system's corrupt you know i'm just this this poor woman who you know is not feeling strong at the moment um you know well you know i i was i i i, I did tell some untruths but i did it for a reason i was trying to protect my family whatever rubbish she will come up with um you know oh my my children my family look at my lovely children you can't you can't you know make me homeless you can't do this you can't do that because my lovely lovely children what will happen to them so she's going to lay it on really really thick but um justice will justice will prevail and she will um get a really hard a hard uh, judgment against her i don't know whether that will be prison um let's see let's see if i can get anything will she go to prison will she go to prison the energy from this i'm not getting prison but who knows she might get a, a suspended sentence will katie price actually get a prison sentence for, for this because she really has taken liberties and um let's just see let's just see if we end up in prison or will she again escape but it's going to cost her deeply financially let's just see whatever you cards can tell me every lovely curious creatures can tell me about this curious woman see. they might not want to tell me anything but we'll just see we'll just see nothing popping at the moment look there we go one one lone card that's popped we'll have that one knight of pentacles in a reverse so knight of pentacles he's very slow moving energy but if you want something done he will bring it to you you might have to wait a while uh, but he is the most reliable of all the knights so this is upside down um he's not going to bring what she wants um she's waited for this court case it's been put off it's been put off uh what she wants is basically for it all to go away it all to be dealt with as cleanly and quickly as possible with as little um impact on her life as possible and if he'd been the right way up i would say yeah you know um he's going to deliver it's going to be fine you're going to manage to hold on to uh, a few pentacles and um you know be able to invest them somewhere safe and you will be fine um i think this is ruin it's financial ruin so yep i see financial ruin i don't see prison but um yeah i think she's going to lose her home she's going to um going to be financially ruined by all of this so that is my reading for katie price aka jordan from many years ago um, I hope you enjoyed it and we shall have to wait until February to see what the courts do decide. Thank you very much. Bye bye.